Hi, Randy Fairfield here, Mr. Ed Tech, and today I'd like to share with you two Google Chrome extensions that can make it really, really easy and quick to navigate through your Edmodo groups and directly message the members of all of your Edmodo groups. Those two Google Chrome extensions are called Link Clump and Close Inactive Tabs. Let's go ahead and get started. Link Clump is one of my favorite Google Chrome extensions when it comes to productivity. What it allows you to do is right click and drag and open up in separate Google Chrome tabs all of the things that you highlighted. This can be super, super helpful in a number of instances. And I'm gonna show you a couple of ways in which I use it and Edmodo together. So in this way, I opened up all of my Edmodo groups. And now if I push Control plus Tab, I can quickly navigate through each of those groups. Now you can, when you make a post to Edmodo, have the post go to multiple groups at one time. But what that would do is allow everyone in each of those different groups to see each other's posts. So say, for example, you wanted to post something to each group and you only wanted the replies to that post to be seen by the people in that group. You could quickly open up all of your groups in Edmodo, like I just did using Link Clump, and then push Control plus Tab to go to where it says here, type a note. And I've got a note that I've prepared to copy and paste using Control V. Then I push Control Tab, click Control V, Control Tab, then Control V, Control Tab, then Control V. And I can quickly post these notes to each of my classes and then continue to push control plus tab, hit click send, click send, click send, click send, click send. And I can quickly get this message out to all of my groups, which is really, really helpful. Another way that I like to use Link Clump and Edmodo together is to use it to directly message all of the members of an Edmodo group quickly and easily. Let me show you how you do it. If you go to your Edmodo group on the left-hand column here, then click the members tab, Here's where you take the pro tip. If you go to the hamburger in the Google Chrome browser, zoom out, what that allows you to do is then right click and drag over all of the members of the group. That will then open up a tab across the top for each one of those members. And as these things load here quickly, what's nice is that the send a note button is gonna appear across the top in the same place. Now to quickly zoom back in, rather than going to the hamburger, I can push control, hold the control button down and then wheel the mouse and that'll bring it back. Now using control plus tab, I can quickly control plus tab and then click. And that allows me to quickly pull up the button to send a direct message to all of the members in that group. Now I go back through and I click where it says send note, control V, control tab, click, control V, control tab, click. And I can quickly paste the message that I want to send as a direct individual message so it fe feels more personalized to each of the members of the group. So that doesn't take hardly any time at all once you get your fingers moving quickly with those keyboard shortcuts. Now I go through and I, if I wanted to, I could click send, control tab, click send, and send all of those messages really, really quickly. Now, here's where the next Google Chrome extension comes in really handy. This one here is called uh, close inactive tab. So after I've sent each of those messages, I could go back to the very first tab, then hit the close inactive tabs extension and all of those other tabs that I'd opened up will go away. So again, this is, these are just two Google Chrome extensions that can really, really help out with productivity. And if you didn't know, to get those extensions, you first need to sign into your Google Chrome browser. You can use this using your district provided Google Apps for Education account, or you can use it using, uh, you know, sign in using your own personal Google account. And it's important that when you sign into the Google Chrome browser, you know that all of the extensions you ever add will follow you. So I just open up this browser and I've got different browsers for different accounts, but for this one, I open it up and all of these extensions load up across the top. So to get to the extensions, I then go to the hamburger, go down here where it says more tools, 
and then I say extensions. And that will pull up all of the extensions that I've got right here. If I want to add one, I go down to the bottom here and I click get more extensions. And this is where you would go here and type in link clump. And it'll search for it. Uh, I've already added it here, so I don't need to do that again. But down here, you can see some other things pop up. And for link clump, you would just click the add to Chrome button and that extension would be added in. Uh, close inactive tabs is the other one that I used as well. For some reason, when I go to find the close inactive tabs extension, it's not showing up on the list of extensions. However, if I go to the ones that I've already added and I click here where it says details, it does give me a hyperlink to take me directly to that um, extension that I can add. And so I'll go ahead and add the link to that uh, up on my blog post on my website. So make sure to check that out. All right, y'all have a great day and I hope this extension will really help you be more productive in, in the way that you use Edmodo and also help you really make those personal connections uh, with your students a lot more quickly and easily. Have a great day.